Okay, I just hope this phone does not fall down because I don't have a mount and I don't have anything to like hold it up. So I kind of like set up a little thing to keep it going. I'm coming here today out of obedience because I strongly, strongly, strongly feel like I need to share this. I've sat on it long enough. I have moved in disobedience very, very long and this is long overdue. I just feel an overwhelming feeling in my spirit as I was listening to a teaching and I felt so challenged to step out of my comfort zone. Like I'm literally having like a little bit of like anxiety, I guess, sweaty palms and all. Like I'm nervous to share this because I know with things like this, it gets a lot of scrutiny like people will question it people will wonder if you know the individuals that share these kinds of testimonies if they're telling the truth or they're lying and you know all the things that come with this stuff but I know that it's true right and I know what God has done for me and it's not about those people and maybe in time God will even use it however he sees fit for those individuals but these this these kinds of testimonies are for people who need encouragement they need to get that knowledge and understanding of God in knowing that he is still moving in the earth realm in this capacity a lot of times we box God in and we we have our own ideas of what God is and who God is and what he is doing and not doing. It's, it's so much and that's why it's so important for relationship. But this is going back to my journey and I think I believe that God is calling me to share more videos like this because I've been... I've known that he want me to use this platform to do something, but I've been trying to control the narrative, like how I use this platform. Oh, I want to work on my editing and do all these things. And he's like, that's not what it's about. And so I just want to move in obedience from now on to share the things that he's directed me to share. Um, some years back, I was in a domestic violent relationship. I think I've mentioned this before. I had several videos up that I take da taken down because it was too vulnerable in my eyes. I'm just like, that's a lot. And, you know, but I realized my life is not my own. And so God wants to use this story, right? My story. Um. So several years ago when I was in that domestic violent relationship, um, my partner at the time, um, he was going around, he slept around a lot and he contracted a STD and never told me anything about it. And it was an STD that you can't get rid of. And so he gave me the STD and I had, it, it, the way that everything happened is insane because I was just at the, the end of like, high school year I had a very I had a baby my senior year um in completing high school and he was acting so strange so he know that he did it and so I wanted to get tested for everything because I had just had a baby and everything and he was a new intimate partner because he wasn't he he's not my son's father and so I went and got tested at this time when everything was happening i actually you know there was a lot of like health trucks and stuff you could get and get tested for you know like your diabetes and your blood work and all those things and i remember a church having like a event like that and me missing it and i was like man i'm just gonna go and i have a new leaf on life and everything like that so lease on life so i'm just gonna go and get tested so i went to my doctor my primary care doctor that i've been at since i was a teenager and got tested and probably a week later he calls me back in he said he needs me to come and my doctor was one of those doctors where he has relationship with his patients so I went into the office and I sat down and he 
scolded me. He was like, what did I tell you about using protection? And because he's a father, right? And so he scolded me as if I was his daughter. And he's like, I have good news and bad news, you know? And he was like, which one do you want first? And I said, well, I don't know. Just give me the news. And it was like, well, he said, the good news is you're healthy. All your levels look good, you know, cholesterol, all that stuff that is supposed to be good, you know, um, but you have an STD and you can't get rid of it. And I told my doctor straight up in tears flowing from my eyes when I, cause I was in shock. I was like, no, I don't because in my mind, Things like this does not happen to people like me. That's the mentality that I had because I was a good girl, right? I wasn't out there. I wasn't doing this or doing that. So it should not have happened to me. So that started a road to depression because now this thing is happening to me it's wrong I, this is wrong with me that's how i saw it like i was not good anymore i was broken i was damaged goods like every little thing that the world would say that's negative to like negative self-talk was like my mindset from that point on and so several years I I went through that several years. And if you guys want to hear more in detail about my journey, you know, you could comment below and I can do videos like that. But I'm, I want to get to the point why I'm sharing this whole testimony and why I feel God wants me to share it. I said several years, but I'm going to be specific. Eight years on the dot. It was... Um, October 31st, my girlfriend and girlfriends and I at the time, we wanted to find something to do because the world was celebrating Halloween. <laughs> Look how amazing this is. What month are we in right now? I'm sharing this right in this moment. It's October 13th. <laughs> And that's how we know that God is intentional. And that's why his ways are not our ways and his thoughts are not our thoughts. He is so amazing. He blows my mind every single time. So back to the story. In October, the end of October, we wanted somewhere to go. One of my girlfriends jumped in. She said, yeah, it's a revival at this church. We should go. So we went to the revival. The very first night when we went, as soon as I walked into that church, it was a whole nother atmosphere. I had never in my life experienced anything like it. I felt the presence of God as if the whole room just was his presence. I felt newness. It, 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 I can't even get into detail. Like that feeling, that experience is insane. That's, that's a place that you want to be. And so went in there and the service was amazing i saw miracles and wonders and healings all kinds of stuff but when i was there in that service that night i experienced something in my body i had this warmness in my body and then i felt a, a feeling sensation down in my private areas instantaneously I knew exactly what happened because God let me know but I was not like I had never had no experience with this stuff it wasn't like somebody told me or somebody called me out or put their hands on me it was an encounter with God myself this was like hours within the the the, the revival and I knew that I was healed but then comes the battle of the mind so the next night we go back and the pastor, you know, it was a three day or something like that. Three to five days revival. And the next night we, we were so excited. We went back again. And so the pastor said, raise your hand if this has been a blessing to you. So I put my hand up, not thinking he was putting, asking us to put our hands up to 
be called on because you know we do that in church where we raise our hand to come in agreement with something because we are all experienced in this but he just pointed me out called me out and said you come here and i was like mm -mm, mm -mm. i could not believe he was calling on me like no i don't do that and he was like no come on come on you you don't have to say it out loud you could tell me in my ears what it is so that moment i know that god was speaking to him <laughs> so i went and i whispered in his ear and he said God knows and he said the same healing that has taken place in your body he already had put it in your hands from when you were a child and then my memory goes off and I remember things that happened in my childhood and we'll go back to that if you want to know more about that as well and so I left the altar that night with the pastor on stage and I went back to the audience, the, the congregation, you know, and from that moment on, like I said, from me experience that healing, the battle of the mind came in because now the enemy's telling me, no, I'm not, you know, he's just coming at me with negativity. I had had this STD for so many years and I never had an issue with it because I never even, it wasn't like my body was letting me know that I had anything. And instantly after this healing experience, all of a sudden, I'm having signs of having this STD. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, so two weeks passed because I battled for two weeks before I went to the doctor to confirm that this actually was not there anymore. So I went, I called the doctor's office and I, I said to the nurse, hey, I'm trying to set up for a blood work for this STD. And I, I came out clearly telling her what this was. I was like, well, God told me it's healed. I don't even know why I did that, but I did it, right? And so I told her and she was like, well, I, that was, this was her response. I have never even heard about anything like this. So I don't know why you even want to do it. But I was like, okay. So <laughs> I had my appointment. Still battling daily. And finally, the results are in. <laughs> she took it upon herself to make note to herself that when my blood work came in she was going to make sure she called me because she wanted to be a part of this she called me on the phone I remember the day like yesterday I was driving in my car I had my girlfriend on one side and my children were young at the time and we are going somewhere and I remember exactly where I was and we are about to cross the light and literally when she called me she said Miss Jessica I don't know but this is a miracle because I've never like I said never seen anything like this but there is nothing there and my girlfriend and I just bust out in praise. I remember jamming my foot on the brakes in the middle of us crossing the light. Because I was just, I, I gave out a big yes. Because I was just like, oh my God, God, you did it. Like now, you know, I have this solid thing to, to, to just know without a shadow of a doubt <laughs> that you did this for me. And so as I'm as I'm finishing up sharing that part, I'm just feeling like everything coming down. And I know that the Holy Spirit is like making me know that it is done. And God healed me. And it was eight years on the dot of me getting that STD. And I had not even known this at the time. About eight meaning new beginning and he gave me a new beginning he took away that thing and he gave me my health back and that thing came with so much and so much negative it put a damper on my life my thoughts were just a hot mess and i just thank god for healing healing 
in this season healing that is still happening today healing like healing how he opened up the eyes of the blind man and opened up ears and call Lazarus out of the the his deathbed and raising Jesus from the death from the dead God is still healing in this season and we need to stop comparing ourselves to other people. We need to find relationship with God. It is so important. That's the only way you're really going to find your way is really seeking God for yourself, coming into relationship with him and let him, he wants to talk to you. He wants to commune with you. He wants to, you know, set your paths straight and direct you and guide you he wants to do all of those things but it takes you coming into agreement with all of that you have to be open to it open to it and just like faith he asks for a mustard seed a mustard seed a mouth of faith but that's not saying that faith is going to stay there he's saying that's all you need and then I'll do the rest. So I just want to encourage someone today to let you know that God is still up to something and he is still, he still has arms wide open. He still wants to heal you. He wants to heal you from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. He wants to love on you. A love that you have no, you, you have no idea his love, like his love is like no other. And he wants to have that encounter with you because you belong to him and he created you for that purpose. And so I just want to share that today. And I just want to encourage somebody. You will know if this video is for you. And so I just want to challenge you to open up your heart, open up your mind, accept Jesus Christ as your personal savior and begin to walk with him, commune with him, have relationship with him and just watch him change your life for the better. So I just really wanted to come here and in obedience today and share this. And let me say a quick word of prayer before I go. Father God, I just want to thank you, God. I thank you, God, that you are moving in this season. I thank you, God, that you are so concerned about all of your children. I thank you, oh God, that in this season, you want to deliver us. You want to heal us. You want to get us back, oh Father God. Get us back like when somebody broke up with us or hurt us and they want to get their old thing back but God that's not how it happened because in your word it says that Lord we don't you don't leave us but we leave you God we know that we leave you God make it not easy for us to walk away from you God Lord let us experience your presence let us enjoy our relationship with you God Help us to grow in the knowledge and understanding of who you are, God. Lord, help us, oh Father, God, to be open. Hearts wide open, minds wide open. Help us to look to you and trust in you. God, I just thank you for this time. And I just thank you for the lives that you will touch and the things that you're getting ready to do just from this action of obedience. God, I give you the glory. I give you the honor. I give you the praise. And it's in Jesus mighty name that I do pray. I call all of these things done. Thank you, Lord. And amen. So you go and you have a wonderful day and be encouraged and just know you are truly, truly, truly loved more than you will even, you can even fathom. So take care. Be blessed.